Hello, my name is Ryan Dark. I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer here at Go Engineer. In this Go Engineer Quick Tips video, I will be discussing the passage of equation variables from an assembly into a part file. Uh, I'm doing this so that I can control the number of iterations of a component pattern in the assembly with the number of iterations of a whole pattern, a whole uh, rotational pattern inside the part itself so that when the number of holes change, the number of bolt components within the assembly will also change. So to start with, uh, taking a look at the equations, going into tools, equations. Uh, I've set up my variable name screws. I've set an eight count for the, no the number of iterations for that variable. Then inside the part file itself, go ahead and edit component to see in it. Again, go into tools, equations. I've set up another variable. It has slightly different syntax so that it can reference the variable that is within the assembly. So here, the, the variable name is the same inside the part, but what it's referencing is not a number. It's actually going to the screws variable inside my assembly's name, which is global variables.sldasm. So every time I change the variable inside the assembly level, the part will reference this and also change. So to see this in action, I exit back out the component. I unsuppress the bolt I've pre-made in this assembly. I have my bolt. I'll go ahead and make a new circular component pattern here. So I have my axis of rotation. The component I want to pattern is the bolt. I want to just go ahead and put in eight for now. I'm going to link it in a moment and go ahead and make my pattern. So now I have my circular pattern. It won't change if I change the equations. It's not linked yet, so it will stay on eight iterations of that bolt pattern uh, unless I link it. So to link it, I'm just double clicking this component pattern and you'll notice this little eight pops up for the number of iterations. I double click that, brings up my modify dialog, and I can link value. This will bring up all the values that I've set up in the equations, screws being the variable that I want to use. So I press OK. So now the number of iterations of my components are linked to the equation variable name screws, which is also linked to an equation variable within the part itself name screws. So what happens is I will edit this equation and I don't want eight screws anymore, I want four screws. So I press four, changes to four. I go ahead and I do a control Q. It rebuilds and now I have four bolts and four holes. My equations have both updated since they're linked together. Go back in, we'll change it to six. Press OK. Control Q, it changes to a pattern of six. Everything updates all at once. They're all linked together. So uh, this has been Ryan Dark with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check out our other videos for more tips on using SOLIDWORKS.